50 years ago, the countryside provided a good living for wild birds, like the barn owl. There used to be over 30,000 barn owls in Britain. Now there's only a third of that number. Like all animals, barn owls depend on their habitat to supply them with what they need. Why have their numbers dropped so much? What has changed about the countryside today? What is a habitat? And what does it have to provide for the things that live in it? This is Africa. This habitat supports lots of different kinds of animals. It gives them food and shelter. Somewhere safe to bring up their babies. Dung beetles feed on droppings from other animals. And they lay their eggs inside balls of dung. This habitat looks cold and bleak, but it's home for Arctic wolves. How do animals find shelter here? And where do they get their food? What's the habitat for these animals? What a habitat has to provide is shelter and food. of these things do they really need? What are the basic necessities of life?
These are iguanas. They're cold-blooded animals, so they need warmth from their habitat. They spend a lot of time sunbathing and lying about on hot rocks. What else would you need to know if you were given an iguana? This is a green iguana. It might be cold-blooded, but it feels warm when you touch it. How would you find out what it eats? Is this a good way of finding out? What would you need to make an indoor habitat for an iguana? Because it's dry as well. Yeah. And they have to dry things in the desert. Yeah. Put the plant near the water. Yeah. What about the heat as well? Need some heat. Could use this heat lamp here. Can't we? Yeah, Yeah, but where are we gonna put it there? Put it behind one of the rocks. Yeah, and shine it down in the middle. Shine it down from the top. Yeah. Which of these things might be useful? It's important to control the temperature inside the cage. How can they find out if their iguana den is any good? Can humans provide animals with all their needs? Is it a good idea for some animals to depend on humans? And how do animals depend on each other? living things depend on getting enough to eat. What sorts of food are there? Plants provide lunch for most animals. Sometimes it's animals that become lunch.
Is it the fate of all living things to be eaten? Are they just links in a food chain? Are we part of a food chain? Where does our food come from? This food chain ends with humans, but where do food chains start? Food chains always start with green plants. Plants store up energy from the sun. How does energy pass along a food chain? And what happens to it in the end? This scientist is an expert on water. His job is to keep a check on what's happening in rivers and streams. He's looking for any signs of pollution in this habitat. This snail seems happy enough. Kick sampling is the best way to find out what's living in the stream. What do you think he's looking for?
if there's lots of life, there must be lots of oxygen dissolved in the water. Here it's 99% of the maximum. This stream is in a different part of the city and it's been polluted. How will this affect the amount of oxygen in the water? There's much less. What do you think he'll find in this kick sample? Not much sign of life here. Except a few of these worms. Almost the only thing the pollution allows to grow is this sewage fungus. But is pollution the only way that habitats are changed by humans? New roads might alter habitats, but they don't always destroy them completely. This is tropical rainforest. It's home for this sloth. And for countless other forms of life. right for us to destroy the habitat of other living things. And how does this tropical habitat affect all life on Earth?